truly a difficult thing to do, to be resilient, all right? Um, and it's lacking a lot. People are pretty soft these days. They give up very easily if things don't work out. And dancing, you have to remember, is not a sport, okay? It's an art form. And I grapple with this because I'm a competitor myself. But what you've got to understand is that when you're pursuing something like an art and you're trying to create excellence for yourself, there really isn't an end point. And a lot of people don't like hearing that because we're sort of conditioned in society to have an end point, you know, to graduate, to finish, and then you're done. The thing is about graduation is it sort of introduces you to the next level. And that's that's a nice way to approach art. Um, and even if you don't want to look at levels, there's always a better way to do things, right? To be more creative, to be more expressive, to show, uh, to, to feel your dancing in a, in a much better way, okay? And that's what this is all about. So please keep that in mind as we go through technique. Technique, which is really the foundation of everything I do, it's really my specialty, it's where I, it's where I shine the most, is only a gateway to freedom, right, of movement and to freedom of accessing the music at a better level, at a more connected level, to feel more emotions when you move, rather than get caught up on being off balance, tripping on your partner, kicking your partner in the legs, right? Hitting them in the face by accident, you know, all these things happen, but they take you out of the moment, right? So just keep that in mind as you're pursuing technique and trying to use it, it's not to get caught up on that, okay? The only time you really need to be very uh, focused on technique in the sense of, you know, the nitty gritty, if you look at a technique book and you look at all the bits and pieces, the chart headings, for example. So if you look at like, um, let's see here, for example, take anything in a technique book, you see all the step, you know, foot positions, alignment, amount of turn, footwork, CBM, you know, all this stuff. That's just one step for the man and then the lady. And you'd imagine that across all the steps in Latin, Borum and New Vogue, and you start to get information overload. So just keep in mind that the only time you need to know every piece of that and how it all fits together uh, is if you're becoming a teacher, okay? And you're doing a professional examination or an adjudicator. Outside of that, it can be too much information for say a social dancer, even a metal dancer. Um, hence why with dance at home, the whole point of that is to get footwork, right? It's to get your understanding of what I think is important through my own experience, teaching over many years, seeing what works and what doesn't. And it's real easy to confuse things, okay? So um, go back to basics, go back to that program, start dipping back into it when you get confused. And then of course, leave a question here for me. Now we're gonna get into the, uh, the program. So feel free to leave questions as we're going through this as well.